Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be going collectible Funko Pop hunting. So let's get started. Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing collectible hunting. This is pretty much just like Funko Pop hunting, but I also want to be picking up more stuff than just Funko Pops. Um, but it is, I kind of do this pretty much every time, but I want to make it more official this time. Um, so while we're out today, we're going to be looking at other stuff as well, not just Pops. Because I do want to pick up some other stuff. Maybe if we go to Value Village, pick up some stuff there. Um, I don't know what they're going to have, but like last time we went to Value Village, they had some cool bobbleheads um, and like Pez and stuff like that. So maybe we'll find stuff there, because I do want to go to a different Value Village today, because I think that'll be fun. We're also going to a different Toys R Us than we normally go to. So fingers crossed they have something there. But anyways, we're going to be going to a bunch of other stores as well. So let's get going. All right, guys, we made it to Value Village. So let's go in and see if they have anything good. This is a huge section compared to the one that we normally go to. I um, mean, they do have some pretty fun stuff. Ooh, there's a Pez here. Hold on. They've got... Ooh, is this from Pirates of the Caribbean, I think? I don't know. I haven't seen that one before. That's pretty neat. But... Um, that just goes to show guys that there's all of this here as well as the wall over there and I'm gonna check for plush as well because there's pop plush and sometimes people do find them here. I know Kenny found it here one time so we're gonna check that as well. But uh, yeah, there's so much stuff over here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to go through all of it. Alright guys, so we are digging through the side here and I don't see too much. And like I've mentioned before guys, I like to check the minions because sometimes the minions pops get kind of like mixed in with those. But yeah, I don't see anything over here as of yet. But we're gonna keep looking though and I'll let you know. So guys, I came over to the figures at the front here because I thought there might be something and there was, there was a Daryl Dixon wacky wobbler but the only problem is, is his face is cracked right across the front. So I'm not gonna be buying it today but if you guys want it, the Value Village in Hamilton, it's $3.99. It's pretty cool but uh, it's a little broken. All right guys, so we are now in the back section over here at Toys R Us and I wanna show these off because there's a lot of really great stuff. They've got a lot of the 10 inches here. Uh, I think I own every single one of these if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not Pusheen, I don't think I own Pusheen. Um, but other than that, they are pretty cool. I'm glad that you guys can get these ones here if you guys are from Canada. You know, it's an easy way to get it. If you guys are from Canada, Toys R Us carries a lot of the 10 inch ones. Um, but a little bit farther over, here's where they get their shared exclusive stuff. There's some pretty good ones here. Um, they do have Gambit, which is damaged, but um, they do sell them in some stores. It's just too bad about this one right here. Um, being super damaged, but they do have the Glow Todoroki, Piccolo, um, some of the Frozen ones, Cinderella's also not looking too good up there, but it's still a pretty cool pop. Um, we've got the Avengers Hulk down here, Wolverine, Iron Man, Spider-Man, I don't think they have the Captain America one here, might be hidden behind, but it is the patina version of uh, the Captain America, it's not on the back, but I would, uh, I would show you guys, but it's pretty much the same as those ones there, just patina. Um, over here we've got, these ones actually really great. This is the Eevee as well as the Pikachu. So these ones are really great because this one here is worth like 30 bucks. Um, I don't know if that's true, but that's what it says on the Funko app. So maybe some people sold it for that and it hasn't updated yet, but they do seem to have a bunch of them over here at Toys R Us. I also like the wood deco one. That one's really great. I'm a big fan of that one. I do own it. I actually own most of the exclusives too here. I just wanted to come today to see if they had anything new. And I don't think I see too much that's like brand new, but I'm still gonna be looking around a lot. They do have the Diamond Edition Olaf there, as well as the Green Chrome Hulk. That's the only color they seem to have gotten in, and the Majin Boo is pretty cool. Um, the Joker's Wild Batman's great. They also have Alan Parrish. This is the one with the dagger there in his hand. You guys can kind of see it. I know it's a small exclusive, but it is a nice one. So if you're gonna get one, I would prefer getting this one over the normal one. Um, they also have the Hawkeye and Electra. I don't think I have Electra. I'd have to scan it into the Funko up to see if I do, but if I don't, I'll pick it up. Up here, guys, I don't think there's very many of them, but they do have one of them here. It is Beta Ray Bill, which I'm a huge fan of. That's actually where I got mine, and this is a really great exclusive. This was exclusive to Walgreens in the States, but here in Canada, it's Toys R Us. A little bit farther to the right, guys, they have the Han Solo and the Millennium Falcon, which is a huge one. It is $79 here, or $80. Um, so if you were to get this one in Canada, it's probably cheaper, because I think if I'm not mistaken, on Amazon, it's also $80, and with exchange rate, it's actually much cheaper. And then I also noticed they have the Goku and Vegeta baseball. I actually got this set here as well. It's a pretty good one. All right, guys, so I didn't get any pops, but I did get some other stuff over at Toys R Us, and I'll show you what we got back at the studio. Guys, so we actually just passed by our second value village, so we're gonna go in and see if they have any Funko products. So guys, so far I haven't found anything pop related, but I have found some pretty cool stuff. And the first thing I want to show off here is this Pez. So they have something that's cool with you. This one here is one of the older um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones. And then they also have Fozzie Bear and Kermit. And then I see the Tasmanian Devil and Batman. And then this one here I don't know. The lamb I actually own. Um, and then this one here is one of those outfits that you could put on the Pez. I don't know what that one was for specifically. Um, but it looks like a skeleton with like a duck and a top hat. That one's pretty cool. Uh, kind of different and then I think I'm just gonna be getting this one though and then maybe this one as well I don't know because I have this one but I don't have Fozzie so I'm thinking about it but yeah they do have some pretty different ones that you don't see very often guys no I know I'm not gonna be picking this up but I did want to show it off this is a Target dog plush down here it's kind of dirty but I thought it was kind of cool because I've never seen that before like a Target branded plush 
Um, but yeah, it is one of those weird things you don't see too often, but I'm not getting it because it's kind of dirty. All right guys, so a lot of you guys might not know what these are, but these are crazy bones. Now I used to collect the newer ones back in like 2008, nine, something like that, and a lot of my friends did collect them as well. So these are the old ones that came out in like maybe early 2000s, I think. I don't know, anyways, I'm gonna be getting them today because I've never seen these before and it's only $2 for a huge bag of them. All right guys, I came out of the figure section and look what I found. I found AC Slater from Saved by the Bell. This is now my second one from Saved by the Bell and it's only $12. I'm pretty sure it's worth more than that. So we're gonna be getting it today. And it's in box and the box looks pretty decent. Guys, also over in the front cabinet here, they have the Hook and TikTok um, Hot Topic exclusive for $60. That is a crazy price. I will not be picking it up today because I do own it. But yeah, $60 for that is not worth it. All right guys, so we're over here in Dollarama and I did find this here. So this is like their little Funko section. They have none of the new ones. I was looking for the new Dragon Ball Z ones that they were supposed to be having here in Canada, but I don't see them yet. Um, but I do want to show these off. So this is like Peter LaFleur from Dodgeball. They do have this vinyl idol here and it looks like it's been here for a while because it is pretty dusty on the top, but it's still a cool figure. I do own it, so I'm not gonna pick it up today. Um, but they also have some of the Valerian characters, which is not great. Um, you know, you see these ones all the time here in Canada, but then we also have Mateo and Isabel. And I think that's it. So I'm not gonna be getting anything today. But I did wanna show it off. All right guys, so we're back from the store and I wanna show you guys everything that we picked up today. I don't even know where to start because I did get a lot of stuff, but at the beginning, I wasn't really thinking I was gonna be getting much because they didn't have too many figures that I wanted to pick up over at Toys R Us and they usually have a bunch. The problem was today is that I own most of the exclusive pops that they have there and they don't really seem to get in new ones every single week. So it's kind of like probably monthly, bi-monthly, they get in at least like one or two new exclusives and it's only been like about two weeks since we've gone last time. So they did have some other stuff, just not pops. But I think that's totally okay because we we're doing a collectible pop hunt today, and this is stuff that I've been collecting, so we're gonna go through it. First up, I got this here. So I got a couple Mario Kart Hot Wheels cars. I've been a real big fan of these ones. Uh, me and I believe it was fun to collect on Instagram, fun to collect, if you guys wanna check them out, um, have been talking about these and just picking them up and he's been telling me where he's been finding them and stuff like that. So it's been really great. The one that I got today though is the Koopa Troopa in the Circuit Special, I think it is. Yeah, Circuit Special. This is the Koopa Troopa in the Circuit Special. Um, this one is really awesome. I'm a big fan of this one. It does say one-up racing on the side. It says Mushroom Piston. It's a really detailed car and I'm a big fan of this one. I do like a lot of the Hot Wheels cars and I've been trying to get this entire set. Um, out of the back here, I think I'm only missing Wario and Yoshi now. I'd have to look into it. I actually just pulled out all of the ones. So if you guys would like to see a review on that over on the second channel, Top Ups 2, let me know. So like I said, I got that one. Then I also got this one today. I got the, I believe this is Donkey Kong. Yes, this is Donkey Kong in the sports coupe. This one is really nice. It's a little bit of a smaller car and it's funny because Donkey Kong is so big, um, but I do want them to make more of these for sure. I know there's one that I'm probably never gonna be able to get. It's the SDCC one of Metal Mario. Then there's also the Chase of Golden Mario, if I'm not mistaken. That one's pretty expensive. I think like $150 for that. So if anybody knows where to get that for a good price, let me know. But for as of right now, I'm just getting the ones over at like Target and Toys R Us and EB Games. It's funny, over at Toys R Us, I didn't just get the Hot Wheels cars. I also got something else that was Mario. Um, they are right here. And I'm gonna be saving these again for another video because I know you guys probably don't want to see me sit here and open up a bunch of stuff. Um, we'll do like separate special videos over on the second channel. But I got these two here. This right here is Super Mario milk chocolate with candy stickers and a coin surprise. So you get a collectible coin inside of these. Um, so I grabbed these today. These were $5 over at Toys R Us. I mean, it looks like almost like a Kinder Egg, but then inside you can get like Super Mario coins. So I thought this would be something fun to open up. They also had other ones like, uh, what was one that I saw? I think it was Peppa. I wasn't interested in the Peppa, but I did decide to get these ones here. They're called um, Frankfurt Wonderball Plus Prize. So anyways, they look pretty cool. They are licensed by Nintendo. So I thought, hey, why not? Let's do this next year, guys. So this right here is a new Hot Wheels car that I got over at the Dollarama. They didn't have any of the new Dragon Ball Z Pops that I was looking for. And I had all of the other stuff that they had there. So I decided just to look at the Hot Wheels cars and I found a new new Rocket League one. This is Octane, which they've already made before, I believe now in red and blue. So I was a big fan of this one uh, when they made it in the other color. So I thought, why not get it in green as well? And I mean, it was only like, I think a dollar 25, maybe a dollar 50. So I mean, why not? All right guys, so next up is the second value village that we went to. I also tried to go to EB Games, which is one that I've gone to before. That was actually the one where they told me not to film anymore, but it's okay because they were closed now. The EB Games just wasn't there. It was kind of weird. But anyways, I went over to the second value village. The first one had absolutely nothing that I wanted to pick up, but the second one had some pretty cool stuff. They had some pops, and of course I wasn't gonna get that one of Hook with TikTok, just because I own that figure, it's around here somewhere, and they had it there for $60. And if I'm not mistaken, when I actually bought that figure, I paid maybe 40 for the entire box with other stuff as well, so it wasn't worth it for that price. But while I was there, I did get a couple things that weren't Funko Pops, but then I also did get one Funko Pop. I know you guys know which one it was, but we'll save that to the end. Um, so I got some Pez I wanna show off first. I actually got four different Pez, so let's start with, uh, let's start 
for these two here because I actually have the Batman. And it's funny, this Batman is one that I seem to be getting a lot. I don't know why, but it just seems to be one of those ones that they couple with other Pez. So this one here I got was this Batman. I have like two or three of this one now. It came out back in like 2000... No, shoot, it was 1995 this one came out. Yeah, I've got a couple of this one. I don't know why, it's so old, but it just happens to be one of those ones that they seem to throw in uh, maybe when they're getting rid of stuff. That seems to be like a very popular one. And then this one here I got, which is from 1995 as well. This is the Tasmanian Devil. This is actually my first Pez from Looney Tunes, and I thought, why not, let's get it. I would love to see if they have a Bugs Bunny one or maybe Tweety, um, but yeah, for right now, all I have is the Tasmanian Devil. But yeah, it was like, how much was this anyways? It was $2.99 for both of them, and I mean, usually a Pez is like a dollar to a dollar fifty anyways. And for some pretty vintage ones, I thought, why not? Then the other ones that I got here are these two. So I, they didn't have the entire Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set, but they did have these two here. So I thought, why not? Let's get them. I also want to find out what year these are from. Maybe they'll say on the back like the other one. This one says, I don't think it does. Shoot, I wish I knew. Um, if you guys know what year these ones are from, let me know in the comment section below because I'd love to find out. I did get two of them and they seem to be from the same set. So anyways, here is one of them right there. This is a pretty cool one. And then the other one we got was this one right here. And I don't think this one says the date either. No, it just says Mirage Studios on the back. But anyways, guys, they look more like the cartoons, which I'm a huge fan of. I know they did make some for the newer cartoons, but these ones look a little bit better. And then guys, this next one that I got here was something pretty funny. I'm not gonna open these ones up right now just because of how many of them there are. Uh, but you guys kind of get the idea of them. These are Go-Go's Crazy Bones. Now, I do have a lot of the newer ones, like I mentioned. I actually have them in a popcorn bowl in my room at home, and I wanna do a video on them on the second channel. I actually ordered a couple more packs of them that are unopened from like, I think it would've been like 2008, 2009, something like that. Um, so I'm so excited about those ones. But these are the ones back from, I don't know when. Is there a date on the back of these? Please tell me there is. I don't think there is again. If you guys know, let me know. Um, because honestly, I really wish they dated everything on the back, but I totally understand why they don't. Um, but you guys can see here, it's just a bunch of different colored pieces of plastic. But if you guys remember these, um, these are pretty awesome. I used to collect the newer ones, like I mentioned earlier, from like, I think from about 2008, 2009. But then when I saw the original ones, I was like, I have to pick these up. And then guys, last but not least, we got this Funko Pop right here. Actually, today I was a little worried I wasn't gonna be getting any pops, but then I found the AC Slater here, which is pretty cool. I know he's been a little bit of a TikTok trend, recently um, with some of his audios but this right here is the Saved by the Bell pop televisions AC Slater number 315 this came out in 2015 I do want to mention I looked this up on the Funko app and it's worth about $24 for this pop and I only paid about half of that now that is in USD as well and this is in CAD so I probably paid for USD maybe $8 for this, so that's not bad at all. So now I have two out of this set. I have Samuel Screech Powers, and then I also have this one. I would like to start to get the rest of the set, maybe Zach Morris next, or Jesse Spano would be cool, but yeah, for right now, the two of them are pretty cool. And the box isn't the greatest on this, but I mean for $12 when the figures were double that, I'm totally okay with it. To be honest, when you buy some in Value Village, anything with a box is pretty rare. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite thing that I picked up today? I also have these as well, but they didn't look good on camera because this one kind falls over and this is just a bag of them but anyways let me know out of all the stuff that i picked up today what was your favorite but this has been another episode of top pops popsters thanks for watching see you guys tomorrow hey you made it to the end of the video if you're new around here you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel i do upload every day after all and if you're already a subscriber thank you and you can always like the video if you know <laughs> well liked the video and if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Also, in case anybody was wondering, the sticker was fine on top, but underneath, there was one that was ripped off. So, yeah, this one's gonna need a window swap.